Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. So this is going to be the first of all of our wondrous Yu-Gi-Oh card unboxings. So you may have seen various other Yu-Gi-Tubers opening mystery packs from wherever, um, but I've actually never seen one from Target. So this is our Target mystery pack. We get three packs and a foil. Um, I'm excited to see what this is. I, I'm not sure. I think this might be Invasion of Vengeance, and this might be Immortal Destinies, but that's just from the side, and I'm not exactly your most experienced veteran ever. So let's get right to it. Uh, just while we're opening it, remember, like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and yeah, your support is much valued. So let's see what we got here. So, ooh, Duelist Alliance. That's not bad at all. Take it. Dark Saviors, it's kind of fun. I uh, run uh, some zombies, so maybe we can get some good vampire stuff out of there. I'm just gonna flip this over so we can keep our special foil here all safe. You do that last. Ooh, 2018 Mega Tin Pack. That's not bad. So let's let's prioritize here. So we'll pull the Dark Saviors, then the Duelist, Mega Tin, Wrapping it up with whatever the heck this is. So let's get right to it. So we're going to start with our Dark Saviors. It's a five cards, I think. Yeah, I was worried for a minute as it seemed very thin. But don't worry, we didn't get these from Walmart. They're from Target. Oh, man. I haven't opened a pack in so long. It's amazing. Oh, that's some bad warpage there. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's all bowed. Here. All right, flip it over. Ooh, Drowning Mirror Force? Let's go, man. That's a decent pull already. I, I, you might see me uh, overreacting to basic staples. My collection needs some updating, so this is definitely going to go a long way. Like for the Drowning Mirror Force. Let's go. Fandora, the Flying Fortress. Uh, this is not First Ed, I don't think. Uh, this is the uh, Flying... This is the, uh, what do you call them? For hires field spell. So, it's pretty fun. Vampiric Orcus. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon a Destiana. Hmm, interesting. So, again, pretty fun. Vampire Awakening. This is a very interesting card to play in Vampires. You, you can use this, but it's, it's interesting, as I said. And then our last card is Wiz, Sage for Hired, Prismatic. Woo! We just pulled a Prismatic out of a random pack. That's nice. That's a really cool. I don't know if you guys can see that, but very shiny. That's a, that's a fun pull. So we're just going to move those over. Put our uh, Wiz and Drowning Mirror Force up there. And let's move straight on to Duelist Alliance. This is a nine cards. It's funny. We go from a uh, five to nine to 16. Have our nice little staircase of card amount here. So, see if we can pull an odd eyes out of here. That might be kind of fun. Odd eyes on the pack, odd eyes in the pack, you know? So, our first is Memphis Armed Dragon. I used to run this card when I was young and foolish. Gaia the Polar Knight. Uh, Gaia has gotten a lot of support recently with, like, the new Link and stuff, so it might actually be kind of fun to make just a Gaia-themed deck. Somebody hit me up in the comments if you've done that, because that might be kind of fun. Our next will be Shadal Squatmata. Shadals are actually not horrible. I mean, I think... I, did Construct come off the ban list? I think it might have. So, there's our Shadal. Ooh! Stellar Knight Destros. Um, oh my gosh. Is that a is that an ultimate rare? Did we just pull an ultimate rare? I think we just got an ulti. That's insane! A prismatic and then an ulti? What is our luck today, guys? Like for the ulti, like for the ulti, man. That is amazing. Look at that. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. You're going up there, man. Then we have UA Mighty Slugger. 
Uh, it's funny, because uh, we just got our rares removed in the newest set, so you're going to have to go back to your old packs if you like your rares. Then we have Pilgrim Reaper. Again, as I said, uh, I play zombies, so I might actually be able to make something with this guy. Performal Skeeter Skimmer. Ah, uh, Performa Pals. I feel sad. After a monkey board got hit, then they're kind of useless, but still kind of a fun card. Curse of the Shadow Prison. Ooh, this is a Shadal Field spell. Each time a Shadal monster is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, place one Spellstone counter on this card for each sent monster. All monsters your opponent controls is 100 attack for each Spellstone counter on this card during your opponent's turn only. Each time you fusion summon a Shadal fusion monster, you can remove three Spellstone counters from this card to use one appropriate face-up monster your opponent controls as one of the fusion materials. Huh, fascinating. And then Battleguard Howling. When a warrior-type monster you control is targeted for an attack or by an opponent's monster effect, target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack of the face-up monster you targeted with this card. And if you do, return it to the hand. Huh. That has potential. Alright, so now we're going to move on over here to our Megatin pack. Uh, let's continue our luck streak, man. That's insane. I can't believe our pulls so far have been absolutely crazy. If uh, this luck carries over to our next video, then I will be very pleased. So our first is Self-Destruct Ant. Uh, kind of a fun card to play. I know flip effects are kind of outdated now, but I, I enjoy this card. It's pretty funny. FA Circuit Grand Prix. Uh, for the FA, the field spell. It's actually not horrible. I've heard FAs are possible to play. Ask the Rocket Dragon. Again, the Rockets took a big hit with, uh, Agrapain getting banned, so you can't play the Guard Dragon engine in there. But I think they're still playable, personally, so... It's fun to get some rockets. Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound. That's fun. Ancient Gears are... I've always thought Ancient Gears are pretty cool. I just like the concept. Very fun. Nimble Beaver. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon a level 3 or lower Nimble Monster from your deck or graveyard. I wonder if uh, Nimbles are actually playable as a engine or so. It might be kind of fun to find out. Mermel Abyssinary. Uh... I don't know if you guys know this, but in the uh, newest set, we're getting tons of water support. So I think mermails are definitely making a comeback. I mean, honestly, with the amount of support we're getting, you could even play frogs at this point. Heavy Storm Duster. That's awesome. As I said, I have very limited staples, so that's a great pull. I'm very pleased with that. Mythical Beast Master Cerberus. Again, this is this is pretty good in Pendulum Magicians. But, uh, they got hit fairly hard, so I'm not sure if we'll be seeing our um, Pendulum Magicians back for some time. Then we got a Trickstar Black Catbot. Uh, again, Trickstars aren't the best. They aren't super playable anymore, just because getting hit and all. Their uh, field spell is currently, I think, limited, so... Maybe if it comes back, we can play Tricksters again. World Legacy Discovery. This is a World Legacy field spell. All World Chalice monsters in the field gain 300 attack and defense. Once per turn, if a face-up World Chalice monster you control is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, you can target one World Chalice monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. That actually wouldn't be horrible in World Chalice. Then we have a Link Info Flyer. Always kind of fun to play this. It's in Cybers, at least, because you can search it off of uh, various things. Die Dance. This is a pretty funny card. Then we have Link Hole. I'm pretty sure this is the stuff they released, like, when we just got our Link Monsters. So, it's all the Link, Link hype. Beckoned by the World Chalice. So there's our uh, World Chalice to go with the field spell right there. Then we have Orb Orbital Hydralander. Looks pretty cool. 
And then Infernity Patrick. So that's for uh, Infernities, obviously. Then, for our last and final, let's see what we got as our foil here. Red Eyes Retro Dragon is our foil. It's kind of fun. I've seen uh, some cool looking Red Eyes builds. It has potential in that. Well, so that's our video. So in review, we got obviously our Red Eyes Retro, Mythical Masterpiece Cerberus, Prismatic, Heavy Storm Duster. So this was our foil. These were from the Mega Pack. And we pulled our uh, ultimate rare, Stellar Knight Delaros from our, I believe, Duelist Alliance. This is really cool. Very happy with that. Uh, Drowning Mirror Force that we pulled out of our uh, Dark Saviors. And then our Wiz, Sage for Hire. I still can't believe we got a Prismatic out of just a random pack. So, yeah. Um, I guess that's Tata for now. See you next episode.